Hello YouTube, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your Minecraft server run quite a bit faster. A couple simple steps and a program called RAM Disk Utility. So if any of you know how to create a RAM Disk, which is basically allocating a certain uh, amount of RAM to uh, have your computer view it as a standard disk, then go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'll show you how to do that. There will be a link in the description, which will come up about now. and uh, just go ahead and download it, RAM Disk Utility from that site, and just go ahead and install it, and then come back and open it up. So yes, it's uh, it's not a virus or anything. It's a great program, really. Here's an ad. You can just close that. First thing you're gonna have to do is create your RAM disk. So uh, you guys won't have settings like this. You'll have to go like so. Mine is uh, 256 megabytes. That's a pretty good size for a Minecraft server and then choose an FAT32 partition. Uh, we're going to have to click Save Disk Image on Shutdown, Auto Save if you wish, and then choose where to save it. So I'll save it as Server Example. Alright, after that uh, yours will say Start, but um, mine's already started, I'm running it right now. So you'd go ahead and click Start RAM Disk, it would say Loading, Verifying Driver Start, and then RAM Disk Started. So once you see RAM disk started, then you go ahead and click load disk image at startup and stop RAM disk. Okay, so now you should have properly configured wherever you chose to save this image file you should have properly configured now every time you open RAM disk all you have to do is click on start and it'll come up so let's try it out starting RAM disk verifying driver start alright started successfully Now if I head on down to my my computer, it should pop up now. There we go. Okay, so I have autoplay to open it. So here's my RAM disk. And you, as you can see, I've used 147 megabytes already of the 252 megabytes of RAM. And I've already copied my server in. But what you should do is you go to wherever you saved your Minecraft server, so mine's a bucket server, there's quite a few files compared to a regular server which only has 10 or 12, but go to wherever you have the server saved, highlight all of the files and copy it. Make sure to copy it too because uh, RAM, disks are, RAM disks are uh, volatile, meaning they can uh, be erased at any point in time, but that's why we have autosave enabled. So then you'd go ahead and paste it in Minecraft or whatever you, we didn't name ours, but you can rename it if you want. Uh, and then you'll have successfully transferred your server to your RAM disk. So now you should notice a great improvement when you run your server off of here. So I'll just show you mine. Later I'll post a video about how to make a bucket server with plugins like this. It's really cool compared to regular Minecraft servers if any of you are interested. Getting a lot of tests. Alright, so now uh, this server is a lot faster than running it straight off my hard drive. This is a Pale Server Manager. It's a really useful plugin if you run your server locally too. You get to see all your players. Yeah, I'll join it. So you can see your players right here. Teleport them, kill them, promote, and all that. 
it's really useful but you should see a large improvement in your server speed and then um, next video I'll show you if you look down here there's uh, 1962 megabytes so 2 gigabytes of RAM allocated for my server to run on so that means like right now I'm only using 246 254 megabytes of RAM for my server for uh, not for the RAM disk but for actually processing what's going on in the server and storing it and uh, if you increase that to uh, I have it at 2 gigabytes it makes things move a lot faster too so I'll show you how to do that in the next video alright comment like subscribe thanks for watching